Hello, welcome. So this is one interesting feature uh, wherein if at all you have multiple kind of bodies in SOLIDWORKS, uh, typically if if it is any analysis software, one needs to put in a lot of effort to convert them to mid surface for surfaces. Uh, it could be beam elements. It could be solid as well. However, in SOLIDWORKS, when we move into the simulation module, uh, all these entities are automatically converted to their appropriate, um, I would say, elements based on the geometry. So the best way to show you would be using this simple setup. You can see I have created a few different bodies here. One of them is a solid entity. Second is a simple surface. Third one is a uh, weldment. Uh, and finally, I also have a sheet metal component or a part or a body. So these few simple different kind of bodies which we can create in SOLIDWORKS have been created here. Now let me create a simulation study. It could be any simulation. I create it. I get into it. You can see here all those entities have been automatically treated appropriately. So let me maximize this. So first one is the sheet metal. You can see automatically it has been treated as sheet metal. Second one is surface. Obviously, it is a surface geometry, so it does not know its thickness. Let me give it a basic thickness. It has been, uh, we need to give it explicitly. However, for the sheet metal, the thickness comes from the, uh, the actual geometry. Then we have two other bodies. One is the solid geometry. It is down there. And finally, uh, the weldments. So you can see it is a beam geometry and it has been automatically created. Of course, you have options to get into it and play with the other parameters down there. However, um, as a user, this need not to be done uh, or other way around the software has the capability to do it on its own. So this is it. Uh, if at all, the next step could be applying the material properties and checking and sorry and meshing the geometry let me mesh it so here you see a sheet metal and surface have been meshed with shell elements this one is the beam and finally the finally the solid so this is a huge time saver for any analyst typically he spends hours together or even days together to do this pre-processing of converting a given geometry into appropriate uh, elements and all this happens automatically in solid or simulation uh, you can imagine i just created the new study and all these are ready to go this is it